Hi guys, uh, this is Narin here from RC Aeromodeling and Flying. Today in my video, I'm going to talk about uh, BEC, it is a battery elimination circuit. Uh, also, uh, I'm going to explain you what is a BEC, uh, why should we use a BEC and how to set up a BEC. First up, uh, what is a BEC? Uh, guys, a BEC acts just like another power adapter. For instance, to charge your mobile phones, you can't directly use a volt uh, uh, power to charge uh, voltage to power your uh, phones, right? And you need another mobile charger to ch uh, charge your phones. Just like that, this device acts like another adapter. For instance, this is your uh, two cell uh, LiPo, uh, which will, uh, the output will be 7. Point Four. So, in order to regulate the power to, to whatever desired voltage you need, we use this particular circuit. So, input here is 7.4 and the output here can be desired. In this BEC, you can either choose 5 volt or you can use 6 volt. So now, uh, you can ask me why, what is the necessity to use an external BEC when you already have an inbuilt BEC for your ESC. So sometimes uh, uh, there are chances where uh, your, uh, your uh, ESC will not have a built-in uh, um, BEC, that's when you will have to use a BEC circuit separately. Make sure when you purchase a uh, ESC uh, to check if there is an inbuilt BEC. Uh, also guys, uh, if you want to make sure that uh, when you are powering your devices like your uh, RX or your uh, a PCB board, a controller uh, for your cot cotter which only require around uh, 3 to 5 volts uh, don't uh, blindly depend upon the inbuilt PC that you guys have in your uh, ESC that might be faulty for some time when you have uh, uh, for instance if you are on a flight and if your uh, ESC is burned out and you don't have an external source in that case if you have a separate BEC uh, circuit it will surely save your server controls and which in turn can save your plane uh, so that you can maneuver and get your plane to safe uh, landing. So that is the reason why uh, choosing a separate BEC is always uh, recommended. So for instance to power this uh, RX uh, you can't directly power a 7.4 volt 2S battery into this. If you do so, you will end up burning this. So in, the, in that case, we, will, we can use this external BEC to power the RX. So how do you do it? All you have to do is positive and negatives go here. And the end of it is a servo connector where you can plug in your input to the battery here. So the input will be, the input for this is maximum 5 volt, uh, 4.5 to 6.5 volt. So your RX is safe from overpowering. Uh, hence, you can be sure of not burning it out. Uh, now, uh, let me uh, explain you guys the importance of a BEC circuit. Let me start from explaining you from powering your uh, plane. Uh, so, here's your battery and here's your ESC. Uh, uh, here in this case I already have a inbuilt ESC and here's your 
rx and your tx so now battery is plugged to your esc here all right and the input of the esc is gone to the rx and the output of the esc is gone to the motors okay so now and rest of the servo servos are plugged into the different channels of the rx so now the battery 7.4 old battery 2s battery is fully charged uh, powering the motor here and the the lead from the bsc lead here is powering the rx so the bsc lead here is uh, output is 5 volt so this uh, it is well within the range of 4.5 to 6 point volt so here uh, in turn this uh, bc circuit along with the rx is powering rest of the servos the ailerons the uh, elevator and the uh, rudder uh, so uh, uh, these servos can only take up to 5 to 6 volts the servos can only take up to 6 uh, volts of uh, uh, power hence it cannot have a direct um, voltage from the uh, battery so hence uh, in case uh, the uh, there is a low voltage uh, that is uh, while flying there is a low voltage the power for the motor will be shut by the BEC here and it will only power the servos in that case uh, you will save the battery uh, for uh, power for the servos in turn uh, you can uh, somehow manage to uh, with the help of the rudder, elevator and aileron manage to get your plane down to for landing. So this is what a BC circuit does. Uh, so just in case if I missed out something or if I was wrong somewhere, uh, do excuse me. Uh, please write to me uh, on my uh, RC uh, Aero Modeling uh, page and also comment below uh, if you have any inputs subscribe to my channel uh, also um, hope to see you guys soon and have a good flight guys thank you